What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Tony and Rain Reloaded channel. If you are new, please be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also be sure to have your notifications set to all on your CPU, laptop, and mobile devices so you will be notified whenever I go live or upload a new video. Also be sure to like, comment, and share this content on your various social media platforms. So today I'm going to be talking about an individual by the name of Eric Weinberg, and he was the producer for the show Scrubs. Now, I never watched the show Scrubs, but it did have a pretty long run, so the show was successful in its own right back when it came on in the early 2000s. But the reason why I'm talking about him today is because he has been arrested for serial sexual assault and accused of luring victims for years. And when they say years, they're talking this is years trust me but i wanted to give my take on why i believe he most why most likely nothing is going to happen to him and sometimes it's all in the name and you'll see what i mean when i'm done reading the article that is coming from cbsnews.com los angeles police have arrested a longtime hollywood producer for sexually assaulting several young women between 2012 and 2019 Eric Weinberg, who was the co-executive producer for the hit series Scrubs, was arrested at his Los Feliz home, the city police department said in a statement. The Los Angeles Police Department said Weinberg would target women between the ages of 20 and 30 years old in public places such as markets and coffee shops, pretending to be a photographer. He would allegedly invite the victims to photo shoots at his home, during which he would sexually assault them. Now, the thing that got me just reading that is why would he pretend he's a photographer when this guy was the producer of a hit television show? Like, did did work, like, literally fall by the wayside for him to the point where he wasn't even identifiable anymore and he had to resort to doing this? Or was he that not that recognizable at all that no one knew who he was? Like, that's crazy. A friend of mine pointed out the house and said, watch out. I personally know a ton of girls who have been specifically lured into that house and have been assaulted one neighbor told CBS Los Angeles. And you want to know why it's so easy for people like him to get away with it? Because they know it's a lot of people out there in L.A. who are trying to break into the industry and will be down for just about anything to get their big break. That's why it's so easy for them to do this. While he was booked for the alleged assaults from 2012 to 2019, detectives believe Weinberg's crime date back to the early 1990s, but have yet to speak with the potential victims. It's scary. One neighbor told CBS Los Angeles, if you're young, you're afraid of repercussions from anyone. Weinberg is currently being held on a three million two hundred twenty five thousand dollar bail. Weinberg has a long list of credits as a producer and writer in Hollywood. According to his IMDb page, in addition to Scrubs, he has also worked on shows including Californification, Anger Management, and Politically Incorrect. With the wave of people owning their stories and coming forward, thank goodness that these things are finally coming to light. The neighbor told CBS Los Angeles, but it's too long, way too long. I'm still stuck on the part about this guy masquerading himself as a photographer when he's a whole producer out there. But, you know, mainly producers are behind the scenes anyway. If you if they're not unless they're really out there like your Kevin Feige's of the world, then you wouldn't really know them like that because some of them will remain more behind the scenes unless they have to make a public appearance. And that's about it. Um, it's not like they're the actor when they're in front of the cameras. They're more behind the scenes, behind the camera, doing more like the board work, boardroom work. But the reason why I said I don't think anything is going to happen to him, and like I stated in the article earlier, it's all in the name. Look at that last name, Weinberg. Take the wine part out and just look at the Berg. What have I told y'all in the past when it comes to certain names? Certain names will kind of tell you which way uh, or how a lot of these individuals identify. Yes, we know that this is a white male, but that Berg just screams Jewish. I'm telling you, those Bergs, those Swartzes, them skis, and it's a huge, a, a whole bunch of other out there. I said, when you see those last names have those, when you, when you see those type of last names, that should tell you right there what type of person you're dealing with. And just on that alone, I don't think anything's going to happen to him. Like they said his crimes or uh, his allegations date back to 2012 to 2019. 
and they said probably date back as far as the early 1990s. I have a feeling this is going to be another one of those stories that's also going to get swept under the rug. Like it's one of those here today, gone tomorrow type of stories. Don't look for press to be all in his face like they were when it came to Bill Cosby. Don't look for Gloria All Bad and her daughter, Lisa Doom, to come out with their pitchforks and their hand behind the back of the quote unquote victims. Looking for a payday because that's really all they're there for anyways to get money. That's all they are good for. A bunch of leeches, a bunch of blood sucking leeches. Those two are. I don't expect much to come out of this. I really don't. Like, I won't even hold my breath when it comes to this. Matter of fact, when someone sent me this story, I just said it's all in the name. That last name. Just tells me that nothing's going to happen to him. And I have to piggyback off of something that Texas FBA Forever, who te- who sent me the story, said. He said, I wonder if Kamal Bell is working on a We Need to Talk About Eric Weinberg documentary, much like they did with the We Need to Talk About Cosby. And to answer that question, even though I know it's rhetorical, that is a flat out hell no. They He will not be doing a story about this. Or a documentary about him. They'll probably say, oh, he's not a big enough name. It doesn't matter. This guy lured multiple, uh, allegedly lured multiple women under false pretenses to his spot that they were going to be having pictures taken of him, taken of them probably for casting calls and auditions. Only to be allegedly violated later. Now, they always like to say uh, innocent until proven guilty. In his case, probably, yeah. Because he's a white male or white identified male. Had this guy, Eric Weinberg, been a little bit darker and just, well, this is say flat out black. They would have found a way to keep this in there. After all, look at what they did to Nate Parker. And Nate Parker, it wasn't as big as a name, I'm sure, as this guy is. And they dug up old bones for him. Bones that were thrown out of court. Well, not thrown out of court, but he's found guilty of. Not guilty of, I'm sorry. Almost ruined that man's career right when it was really about to take off. So... I won't jump for joy when it comes to this. I don't expect much to come out of this. I'm still kind of shocked that they got Keith Raniere for what he did. I'm glad they did. They should have went all the way when it came to Allison Mack, but you know how that goes. But it's just, I'm just talking about, this is a story I'm just talking about. I don't expect much out of it, and I gave my reason why. Y'all let me know. I want to know from y'all, what do you think, or why do you think he would not be found guilty? Or better yet, do you even think that this would even go to trial? That's the I think that's the million dollar question. 